What up guys, J Pops in the house coming at you with another Funko Pop review. Today we have Thor vs Thanos Pop Movie Moment. Alright guys, so number 707 in the Pop Marvel line. It doesn't say Marvel, but I'm pretty sure this is Pop Marvel. If not, it's just the Pop line. But we have the Thor vs Thanos Infinity War Movie Moment side of the box uh, is empty on this side. We got Thor vs Thanos say on that side and the back of the box artwork right here which is just the movie moment avengers infinity war thor, thor vs thanos all right i'm gonna open this right up all right so the first thing we have in the back of the box is the um the i guess lining the cardboard right here it's kind of got like a little artwork in the back it's like a blurred forest scene which i think is actually pretty cool because if you guys remember in the movie it was a bit blurred um so i think that's pretty cool that they did that and now we have the pop movie moment the first thing i noticed about this when i took it out the box other than this eye being messed up there's a scuff on thor's eye where it's like the like a paint scuff or something but anyway a little touch up paint can uh fix it but they are not bobbleheads which is crazy so you guys know the licensing issue with marvel and funko they can't make um they have to make bobbleheads the only thing i can think of as to why this isn't a bobblehead is that they're not standalone pop figures so they can get away with saying that it's not a figure it's technically a statue so they can make it as like a regular pop which is really cool i think the other i don't have any other pop marvel movie moment but um i think the other ones are bobbleheads, so it's pretty cool that these guys aren't. Alright, so let's get to the pop. So we have the base here, which is like the dirt and the grass area where they were, and you got kind of like some rocks that are part of the sculpt there. Um, they're kind of, they look almost like they weren't part of the sculpt and that they were placed there. Kind of like glued on there. Not sure, but it's pretty cool looking. And it's awesome that it's not just like a, a single base, because if you look on the bottom, it's screwed together, so it gives it a little more sturdiness to it almost looks like it could be battery operated anyway so we got thor here coming down with the stormbreaker you guys remember the scene where he just throws the stormbreaker I told you, you die for that. So he's coming down, lightning and everything. I think this could have been glow in the dark. That would have been so awesome if it was. Either way, um, we can actually kind of like make it a custom and apply some glow in the dark paint there and stuff. Um, that would have been really cool. But you got the lightning all around him, which I think is really dope. Goes even onto the back there and on the side and it comes off his arm. And you can see some of it on the Stormbreaker. That's pretty dope. His suit is a bit different than the common one. The common one doesn't have any sleeves. And now he's got a different suit anyway. So he's got like his silver sleeves there and everything. And the flowing cape. It looks almost like a, the way Superman's cape. Um, ooh, talked about DC in the Marvel movie moment. But it looks kind of like Superman where, where it's just flowing. I think they did a really good job with that. And we got Thanos over here looking all hurt. There's almost like nothing different about him and all the other Thanoses. Like the common and everything, he just looks pretty much the same. I think the way the gauntlet looks on him here is really awesome. It's cool that they can put all the little details, like the fine details in there. Which I think that's really dope. So he's kneeling down on one knee. The only thing with this that I thought maybe... Like you can see the Stormbreaker and how it's... um see if, I, if it's bright enough. You can see the Stormbreaker and how it's not on his chest. Which I thought maybe it could have been on his chest, but I think the way the hand placement is... Like, you kind of can't get it all the way on his chest. And if you display it certainly, like a certain way, it looks like Thor actually got him. But I think this is a really dope movie moment. Let me know what you guys think. If you got this or are you looking to get it, do you think Funko should make more Infinity War movie moments? I think a Doctor Strange movie moment with him and Iron Man or beating Thanos up. I think that would be a really cool movie moment. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Hope you guys enjoyed today's review. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, don't forget to like, share. Ah!